Alrighty, folks, it is the holidays. It is winter. Sometimes we have vacancies during these dreaded cold months. How should we advertise? We're back with Dana Dunford, CEO of Hemlane. How are you doing, Dana? I'm great. Thanks for having me back on. Absolutely. A lot of the country is starting to get cold, cold, cold. We in California are starting to see rain come back. Advertising in such slop or filling a unit in such slop is often difficult. Do you have any advertising suggestions for this time of year? I definitely do. Um, and let's talk a little bit about um, days on market first. Mm -hmm. So sure. what is average days on market we see? Um, it's on average 18 days. Um, mm -hmm. If you're using um, self-guided tours that are seven days of the week, et cetera, you can get your property leased on average within 18 days. Okay. Um, you want to get that as close to zero as possible, right? Um, but then in the winter months, we see that go up. So we see that go up to over 24 days on oh. market. Okay. And um, it, a lot of it, it depends on where you're located. So for example, if you're somewhere where there's snow, no one wants to be moving furniture when there's a blizzard outside. Um, the other the other thing about it is also just everyone's with their family for the holidays. They're not thinking about moving. What's interesting is January really picks up. Mm. So January is actually a huge month. That first week, January 1st through um, 31st, it's crazy how many move-ins you'll actually see happen. Yeah. So I just want to um, be mindful right. and, and let folks know about that. Um, but anyway, as far as looking at your property and getting it leased, you really don't want to run that risk of waiting until the week between Christmas and New Year's to say Christmas is over people are going to um, start looking um, uh, to sign a lease because it's almost too late. Then you get to February. February is another dead month. January, yeah. like you have to hit that January 1st um, timeline. And so from that perspective, when I talk to a lot of um, real estate investors, so rental owners, there's a common trend where they say, but back in September or back in August, this was the rental rate that I, that we could get. It's not September or August yeah. today. Yeah. It's December 7th. Yeah. And so from that perspective, what you really want to do is make sure you are priced um, uh, correctly and that you might even say, like, let's say, for example, your property is listed at 1500 a month. Okay. If you lose two months because you miss January, then you're talking about two months of vacancy. So you make $15,000 for that 10 months of rent. Right. Okay. Let's just say you dropped the price to 1400 today. So dropped it by a whole hundred and you get it signed and you, then you have 12 months. So you don't have two months of vacancy. You actually right. make more money. You make 16,800. And then you can also negotiate to get leases that are 18 months and on a summer turnover or something like that. Yes. yes. So don't stress about, hey, well, this is the price that I could have gotten in the summer, or this is what I was told that I could get. You need to look at the number of tenant inquiries coming in, right? Mm -hmm. When you advertise it, how many of these are seeing, are going to the showings? How many of these are filling out an application? Do I think they're going to be moving through the process? Yeah. And if not, they're not moving correctly through the process, then you do have to start thinking about um, what you're going to do to reduce that price. Um, there's obviously other things you're going to want to do. Look at your listing, make sure you're allowing for pets, certain things that will entice and open up the market, but mm -hmm. really do focus on that price um, that you have and don't get too greedy because this could be short term just to get it back onto a summer turnover. Yeah, I think I think that last twist about making an 18 month lease is genius because you really want to get that turnover, you know, in the summer, certainly out of the winter months. Uh, and I think you're right. I mean, one of the biggest control you have a landlord is the price or the rent or lease rate. And, you know, if you're certainly if you're in one of those states where it's snowing and cold, you want to stand out. And, you know, there'll be a, there'll be a few people that move every December. Uh, just so the supply of movers is so low, you want to stand out. So I think that's great advice. Yeah. Yeah. And it is one of those things where mentally I found that even though it's hard to get over that hurdle of changing the price to renegotiate a longer um, mm -hmm. duration, 
the moment that you have that signed, you finally can enjoy your holiday because you're not thinking on Christmas day. I need to check to see what tenants have inquired. I mean, you could obviously use us for that too, but um, you know, mentally you are not thinking about that. And so just be mindful of long-term and where you're going and what your goals are. Yeah. The other thing I will say, just because I know Hemlane is you got, if you're using Hemlane, you can obviously advertise out to a lot more uh, places with a couple of clicks of a, a button. Uh, and not just do one. A lot of landlords, mom and pop landlords do get tied into one service because it works. It might not work in the winter. So being on a platform where you could go out to multiple locations is a far superior. If somebody wanted to get the trial of Hemlane, where do we send them? Yeah, we advertise to over 30 rental listing websites with the click of a button. And we use AI to help you uh, draft your, your description and everything. Um, so you can go to www.hemlane.com and just click uh, try for free. Awesome, Dana. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks so much for having me.